All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. What your Relo 6 has become? Uh huh. So that. Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stopover time extended indefinitely. locality of this world has been affected somehow. The, take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be... The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and... Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. We've got to get busy! I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. <sighs> I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reaction. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with- I went through the Express's database. And it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. 
By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I expected, before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko, and even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Eurelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? Really? I find that hard to believe. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost-resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> mm. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. Here comes the Eurelo 6 Trailblaze team! Eurelo 6, we're here. <sighs> it really is one big snowball. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hmm. Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Tykean Stadium? Or shall I? <sighs> Please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little- Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on! You've got a Stellaron in your body, I have my special six-phased ice powers, and Don Hung... Uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. So how long does Copycatitis last? Let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. This place still hasn't been been corroded, yet Fragmentum monsters have already made it here. I fear the Stellarite. We're just having fun! Time to twirl! Told you I could fight! I hope I help.
Having fun. Uh. Told you I could fight. <laughs> oh dear, try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Oh dear. <laughs> I need to be brave. I am. <laughs> this big diamond! It's all yours! More business, eh? <laughs> We're just having fun! What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra! Time to twirl! an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? Of course not. My eyes are... <laughs> Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. They just sneak. Ouch! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent, I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not! Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together! <laughs> Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from a Silvermane guard. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. 
And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work? Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guard. So why were you hiding from the Silver Main guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrets. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. It's now or what never. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where do you think you're? Target threat index lowered. Uh, We're just having fun. Time to twirl! Told you I could fight. What are you looking at? More business, eh? My turn! Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Whoa. Told you I could fight. Uh. I'm not afraid of you. Hide. Time to twirl. Uh. We're just having fun. Jepard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Relinquish your resistance. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Good. The stronger, the better. Stay right there while 
I give you a present? This is gonna hurt. I... I'm not afraid of you. Commencing annihilation. Time to twirl! Resistance is futile! Suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the... Ar take them away. Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one! Behold! Yarilo 6! <laughs> you mean to say that this... white ball... that's here? <laughs> that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. 
He's sure saying some weird stuff. Marked change in tone. It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a terra and corroded space. A fragmentum. Correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Mane... Guards are continuously engaged with... with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're... We're here. This is Klepoth Fort. Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the architects constructed Belabog, thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Belabog, elected and appointed by the architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Let's not waste time. No one will notice. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes, Mother.
Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kokolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The Architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An Eon connected our planet to other worlds, 